everyone, welcome. My name is Darren Birch and welcome to our YouTube channel, Traveling Turkey. We also have another channel called Kedi Istanbul. That's K-E-D-I, Istanbul. It's all about cats. Now, if you like cats, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll put a link to that below. Actually, I'll put both links to that. But anyway, this is a new playlist I've decided to create. I've decided. I did there, there. I've decided. <laughs> I decided to call it the Armchair Stories. Now it's probably already been thought of before, but I don't care because I'm going to call it the Armchair Stories. It's going to be about stories about things that have happened in the past, stories that might have happened yesterday or today, right? So anyway, these are the new, brand new series or new, brand new playlist that I'm going to create called the Armchair Stories. Now, let's start off. Yesterday, Ben had told me a story. Now, Ben is my wife. We live in Turkey, Istanbul. She told me the story about this neighbor, their new neighbor, who just moved up on the maybe the fourth floor. That he wants all the flowers around the gardens removed because he didn't like them. Now this guy's got a bit of an attitude. I guess he's using his money as a power, uh, as as for power, to be able to do whatever he wants. Because apparently he owns a lot of restaurants. So he asked the security and the gardeners to have all the flowers removed because he didn't like them. And he was quite angry and nasty about it. And I guess he threatened them as well. Threatened their jobs. So the security um, cut all the flowers and put them all in the bin. I mean, how crazy is that? That's really crazy. Yeah, very crazy. Now, the saddest thing about the story is not just the flowers. As he's asked to have all the cats that Benna feeds, all the stray cats that she's been feeding for the last uh, three years, to be removed. Now this guy's just moved in, he, he's on the fourth floor. Benna is looking after um, the office, it's owned by a family member. They own the property, so they actually own that part of the block. They own it, and they actually own the grounds. The grass here, it's their, their garden, right? Where they feed the cats. But he, this guy, he wants to have a meeting, a staff meeting, with all the people in the block to have all the cats removed. I mean, this is one evil, evil man. Um, but the irony about the whole story is he's got a dog. I mean, weigh it up, you know? You've got a dog and we've got some cats. Uh, that's crazy. It's a crazy way of thinking. I mean, what's this, what's this problem? I mean, uh, is he on drugs? Has he got, up, got out of the wrong side of the bed? <laughs> is he drinking too much? I just don't know. These people, you know, you come upon these people in your life. They just, they just blow you away with their, I mean, their, their way of thinking. Uh, it's just not normal. Uh, and, 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 and you might get some people say, well, what is normal? Well, then if you say that, then go away, you know? <laughs> I mean, you've got to have a balance. You've got to have some sort of way of thinking, oh, this is normal. You've got to have a point and a line saying, okay, this is really bad. This is evil. This is evil. And this is very good. Too good. Too good, in fact. And this in the middle is normal, right? So you've got to have a balance. So... Yeah, having all the cats removed. It's, it's just insane, really insane. And Ben is really upset about it, really upset. And I, I, I feel for her, and I feel for the cats. <clears throat> and I like to get all the cats and bring them all here to our home. But we just got no room for them. And seven cats is a lot. I guess they'll find other homes or go somewhere else, but that's not the point. We're not going to give up on this fight. We're going to fight this guy. I don't care how rich he is or how much power he's got. We're not going to give up. And some of the neighbors are supporting us on this on this, on this, this uh, topic. But uh, there are nasty people out there and they'll do anything they can to try and um, 
extinguish the situation uh, by doing horrible things. And uh, yes, I mean horrible things. And I don't want to imagine what those things will be. No, let's think about happy thoughts at the moment. Um, I'm thinking happy now. Happy, happy, better. <laughs> yeah, so write a comment below and let us know what you think. And let us know if you also have neighbours like this. And yeah, I'll be quite interested. Yeah, there should be a law against things like this. Uh, I, uh, I just don't understand. He's got a dog, and maybe he's a, he's a, maybe he doesn't like cats, but it doesn't it doesn't give him the right to to be able to tell people what to do, or you know. He hasn't asked, he hasn't said, oh, who his cats belong to. He just says, I'll oh, get rid of these cats. Well, get rid of your dog, you know, at the end of the day. You know, your dog's more messy than these cats. And he won't be able to put the dog in the garden because he doesn't know that the garden is belonging to Benner's family members. So he probably thinks the garden is owned by the community. But it's not. So I, uh, yeah... So this is what the story is about. But next week, I'll do something a bit different. Yes. Something more happier. Yes, more happier. <laughs> but later on, I'm going to do another video. Uh, it will be more of how to fix something. I had a problem on my phone. And I tried looking everywhere on Google, on YouTube, to try and fix this problem. I couldn't find anything. I found this one video that had one solution. I tried it. And it fixed the problem, but it didn't actually say in the title or have a description on their video how to fix it, right? And what they were explaining had nothing to do about the problem I had. You see what I'm saying? And anyway, this idea that was given to me about being able to fix the phone was actually Ben's idea. And uh, again, Benna always gives me great ideas. Thank you very much, Benna. Thank you. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. Well, I fixed it by accident. Only by accident. And so I'm going to do a video about this. And so if anyone else has the same problem, I'll fix it. So I'll do a video about this today. But anyway, have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for watching the very first episode of the Armchair Stories. Yes. Because you never know, my other stories may be about me driving trains, or me scuba diving, me doing karate, yes, me doing bushwalks, me joining the boys brigade, me flying in a microlight, yes, me shooting guns, for the uh, secret service, yes, <laughs> you never know.